Thor News presents new near-Earth objects, potentially hazardous asteroid PHAs, including 2012 YQ1 and 2012 Y01, and other little goodies, questions, looking for answers. Now let us get started! Party people, I'm glad we lived. Yeah, internet people. This is Maya, this is Aztec, and this is Oreo. According to the Mayan calendar, the world is ending this month. Fortunately, the Oreo cookie says not to worry. Now let's head over to spaceweather.com. No, Mr. T, that's not spaceweather.com, Mr. T. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, funny apocalypse joke. That didn't work. It's Saturday. Now let's head over to spaceweather.com. Boobs. All right, close enough. Wow, Lucky St. Louis and Cincinnati. Now we're looking at the near-Earth asteroids at Space Weather. Spaceweather.com. We don't see anything good here, so let's head over to the Minor Planet Center. Ooh, look. Oh, look. We have two new ones. 12 YQ1, 2012 Y01. Discovered on the 18th and the 19th. And remember, once they discover them, they wait three days to put them up. This basically got put up on the 21st and the 22nd. Now let's kick on over to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Solar System Dynamics, Orbitals, and check them out. 2012 YQ1. Whoa, that was pretty close. I wonder how close it was. 0.1 AU. That's pretty damn close. Especially considering it has a nine condition code. That's the worst code to have it's the worst is a near miss whoa knows how it speeds up right before it gets by it's almost like a double hit whoa and look how this one slopes up most orbitals are on kind of like the flat disc plane now we're looking at 2012 y01 y y indeed whoa that one's zipping along see back that shit up and the craziest thing i found about 2012 y01 is that they didn't find it until after it had just passed us like, they didn't find it until December 18th, right after it passed, so they, like, missed us. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I found it. Uh, oh, no, point one AU. Man, a lot of these things are coming near us, coming close. Every day, I mean, they're finding so many. NASA's even asking us, hey, let's all keep an eye out on space rocks. Because with increasing regularity, we are discovering asteroids and comets with unusual orbits. Ones that take them close to the Earth and the Sun. Just a very few of them are dangerous, but they are dangerous. All right, we're looking at the Earth Impact Risk Summary. So if you notice, the near-Earth asteroids almost going parabolic. I mean, I realize that our technology has gotten a lot better and everything, but like from 2000 to 2012, 2002, we, went from, we found 2,166 near-Earth objects, and now in 2012, we're up to over 9,000. Still say something's knocking shit out of the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. A ton of shit in there. And with the uptick in near-Earth objects we've seen lately, you know, the, the evidence is clear every freaking day. That we got a lot of shit heading our way, and it barely keeps missing us. By understanding space rocks now, we are better prepared to take appropriate measures in the future. It does appear we are entering some type of debris field of near-Earth asteroid. It was in alignment on the 21st, so we got, just got to be careful. Peace out. Love you. Fortunately, the Oreo cookie says we are okay. Boobs.